class. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, good job right there. Rashadi, I didn't, I didn't see your mouth move on that one. Okay, good. Now you said yes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at these notes because you guys are amazing. So spanning trees, spanning trees. Suppose you have a connected undirected graph. Now, a undirected graph means you can go either way on the road, right? So the roads are the lines connecting the dots. So connected means every vertex is reachable from any other vertex. So there's a road. You could take any pathway, but you can go from any dot to another dot. Vertex. What are vertex? Someone say the dots. Yeah, they're the dots, right? Vertex are the dots and the edges, which are referred to as either edges, bridges, or rowads in this case. Uh, undirected graph does not have an associated direction, so it's a two-way street. You can, you can go either way on the street. It's not the one-way street that we had previously. And then spanning, a spanning tree of the graph is connected. Subgraph that includes all the vertices, mean all the dots are connected, of the original graph, but contains no circuits. Now, what is a circuit? What is a circuit? What do you think a circuit is? Yeah, so it goes back around, right? Mm -hmm. So in this case right here, no circuits in the pathway. That means I have no loops at all. No loops in the pathway, okay? So that's what that means. So no loops in the pathway. So for that information, we can see that we have here, it says uh, we have these rows, right? We have a couple things here. We have, let's see, I'm going to call this one A, B, C, and D. I could use any roads here, but I'm going to go travel to each one of the points without using them more than once, right? So watch this. In between, so I'm going to use any existing roads, and I'm going to go bam, bam, bam. Now, does that connect every single one there? No. Yes, they're all connected. Where do you want to go back to the that would mean that would be a circuit. circuit. Just say no to circuits. Um, You're right, Deja. Mm -hmm. You're like zoning out on me. Yeah. Okay. So if you pick up the pencil, it actually helps pretend like you're actually doing stuff. Okay, all right. So, another one. Can I do another one? Someone else give me another one. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's B to D. B to D. There you go. Does that work? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it a circuit? No. So I can go from any house. So if I consider each one of these vertices a house and the lines in between are roads, I can start anywhere and go to any other house, right? Okay, that's what we're doing. Anyone else give me one? So B, there we go. Look at that. Está muy fácil. Es muy fácil. It's muy, muy fácil. Si? Fácil. That's easy, right? A, B, D. A, B, D, C. Stop it, students. Please excuse the interruption. We're all going. Okay. All right. So we're keep going. Good job. So we have a bunch of different combinations here, right? Now, to go along with a couple things that we have right here, uh, spanning tree asks the following questions. Is there a unique one path between every pair of vertices? Now, I'm going to add a couple to this. Is It is connected in every edge a bridge. Okay, so every single one. So there's, I've gone to every single point. 
Or if I consider these houses, I can go from one house to the next house, any other house. So we have Jahir. He's going to go to his homie, uh, uh, Mr. Brown's house. And then, but Mr. Brown lives way over here. So he, there's a road that's going to connect to any of them. So we have Ja there, and then he's going to go over to his homie, Mr. Brown. So it goes this way, goes this way, and then back over here to Mr. Brown. Right? Okay. Does that make sense? That's what that is. It is connected every bridge. Does it have N vertices and minus one edges? Now, how many vertices do we have here? Four. Okay. So four vertices. And it says n minus 1 edges. So that should be 4 minus 1, which gives me 3 edges. Tres. Tres. El Camino. The roads. Right? El Camino's the road? Yeah, because these are roads too, right? Yeah, so it's Escasas El Camino. El, el, I don't know, going to the house, right? Okay, good. So we're, we have three roads connecting each one. So if we're putting them together, let's look. So I'm going to start counting them right here. I should have three edges or roads between each one. So I have one road, two road, and three roads. So they're all connected there, right? Yeah. Okay, so if this is correct, everyone that works should only have three roads. There we go. There we go. Each one has three roads. And that's what I'm working towards. So three edges or three roads. And that's what that means. Does it contain zero circuits? So I, I don't like the way they say that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it number five right here. And that's gonna be has no circuits. Number six, uh, what was six supposed to be? Totally forgot what six was supposed to be. And no circuits and only use existing roads. There we go. There we go. Six, only use existing roads. And seven is pick up your pencil. How do you sell pencil? P E N C I L. Okay, you can pick up your pencil. So you don't. You can jump over to somewhere else. This is probably number seven. That's going to be probably the the most important item that we have to do because all this other time that we were doing these, we really couldn't pick up. We had to just go from where we were. So now we can just pick up and go somewhere else. Does that make sense? Say yes. yes. All right, good. Now I'm going to show a slow, a little clip. Now I got to find it. Did I delete it? Dang it, I think I did. And the PowerPoint, oh, there it is. So I have a video here and someone's going to explain this in a short video. All right, go ahead. There we go. Better. Now, what is meant by a tree? Let's see that in our next problem. Is the graph shown a tree? Explain your answer. We see that we have five vertices labeled A through E. 
In order for this to be a tree, it ha there has to be one and only one path between any two vertices. So for instance, if I'm going to go from A to E, notice that I can go B, C, E, or as an alternative, I could go B, C, D, E. So I can see that there are two paths from A to E. And because of that reason, we can say, no, this is not going to be a tree. Something else about a tree is that there cannot be any circuits. It's connected, but notice that we have a circuit right here that's formed between three vertices, C, D, and E. So there are a number of reasons why we have to eliminate this from the criteria of being a tree. Okay, I just like the way that she had the diagram there too. So you could tell if it is closed like that, that means that is not going to be a circuit or that is not going to be a tree because it has a circuit. Does that make sense or nonsense? Okay, good. So find a spanning tree. There are two methods for building this. So build up methods like edges one at a time, make sure that no circuits are created till all vertices are included. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna start and I can only use existing roads. Only use existing roads. Yes, I do. Thank you. Yes, leave right now. Wait, where's she going? I think so, yes. What? How dare you? Oh, you got okay. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So 10 minutes you can go. All right, so we're gonna start here and this is probably where, where one of the big things comes into play. You can pick up your, your pencil. So watch, we're going to use existing roads. So start here, 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 here. Now, like I said, I could pick up my pencil. That's important. So there. So I could stop right there, pick it up, go right there. Same thing, pick it up, go right there. And I could also just go there. So if you notice, by drawing it like that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry it over to here. Now, is there any circuits? There's no closed circuits, right? I, I was able to pick up my pencil to be able to find this, but... I can go from any dot to any other one in any pathway, and but it's only going to be one pathway. So let's see. So if I want to go here and end up over, let's say I end up here. So start. There we go. I have a pathway going there. So I only have one pathway to go there. I only have one pathway to go to each other one. Does that make sense? Is that better, Rashadi? Yes? Okay, good. All right, so by doing that, there is no circuits and there's only one pathway to go to each one. So let's take a look at another one way up here. This one says cutting down method. Choose a circuit on the graph and remove one circuit edges until it breaks up. Repeat this procedure until there are no circuits left. There's a couple circuits here, right? Say yes. Yeah, there's a couple circuits. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start by getting rid of some circuits. So I'm going to, let's break this circuit here. So I'm cutting away one. I, I have a white marker here, so that's also cool. So I have been able to cut away that. And so is there any more circuits? On the other side. On the other side, okay. I will get rid of this one right here. All right, is there still a circuit? Yeah, where? Can, can I go all the way around and around and around? So where, where can I cut it out? Okay, let me put some letters up here to make this a little bit easier. Let's go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, N, I. Okay, so I've labeled them all now. 
So where do you think I should actually? Oh. There's more than one place I could do it. So where where would I? Go ahead. Go ahead. I and F. You say get rid of that one. All right. So does that take care of my circuits? Yeah. Yeah. There's no more circuits, right? There's no more circuits. I, I have broken off air these, all of these, right? So I can't keep going around from there. So now, okay, that's gonna be good. That's been gonna, gonna be good, so let's look. So if I do that, I'm gonna say go here, 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 and here. So just by eliminating, cutting out some of the circuits, we're, we end up finding a path. And that's what we have left. Yes? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sense or nonsense? Sense. Okay, good. All right, now next thing I'm gonna do is I am going to help you with this homework problems because they're pretty easy. All right, let's take a look right here. So we're gonna determine whether each graph is a tree, right? Yes or no? If no, explain. Okay. What, 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 arbor? Arbor, right? Tree, arbor? Arbor. Arbor. Tree, right? Arbor. I'm trying, right? See? I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I, I, I was watching Telemundo all, and it wasn't just like the kids' channel either. So, yes. All right. Is number one a tree? No. No, why? It's a circuit. Then what are you going to write? No, because it's a circuit. It's good. It's muy bien. It's muy bien. Muy, muy bien. Number two. Yes. Yes, it is a circuit. Or, I'm sorry. Yes, it is a tree. I'm sorry. I said circuit. It is a tree. C es arbor. Right? Did I say that right this time? No. Is there like one of those like like rolling R's that I gotta do? Arbor. 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 Number three. Three. Ah, ah, ah. Arbor. See what I did there? Okay, that guy right there says it's a tree. Is that a tree? Yes, yes it is. Good job. Number four. No. no. Por qué? For why do you say number four is not a tree? But Deja says it is a tree. But why does Deja say it is a tree? Go ahead. They they're not connected. Does it look like it's 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 connected though? A lot of people actually were, are going to make the same mistake. Is there a vertex right there? No. no. So that's an intersection right there. That's where you cross roads, but no one's house is there. Okay, no one's house is there. So that means that that's not a vertex. So it's just where roads cross but that's not a vertex there. So we would not stop at that point there and change direction. So there is not a circuit there. Not a circuit, so that means it is a tree. Is a tree, yes tree. Yes, out of board. See, out of board. All right, five, what do we get for five? Is it yes or no? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is a tree. Does that make sense? Okay, good. And let's look over here. Find two different spanning trees for each graph. That's all you have to do. You have you you only could use existing roads, right? You only could use existing roads. So here's an example that I did for you. 
All I have to do is make sure it's not a circuit. All right. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And buy stuff at my merch store. All right. Good job.